Hayden. We're the mushroom troopers. We go around the world seeking for new species. Yeah, we've just found a new fungus. It's called shiitake and this white part is the mycelium of the fungus and we're going to do the inoculation process to see what happens. Okay, so we have all our materials. My mate will get the fungus. I will drill holes a palm apart from each yeah. other. Like 10 centimeters approximately. And then we will put the fungus, which is right now in little pellets. We will put it inside. And now another palm. Okay, so now we are going to take the shiitake fungus and insert the pellets inside the five holes and let the fungus reproduce and penetrate the wood. Now we are going to take just a pellet to insert. So we take it and we insert it in the first hole. I've drilled the holes but they are not thick enough, which yeah. means the pellet does not fit inside the hole we have drilled. What we have to do is drill it again and move the drill around a tiny yeah, little to bit. To make it thicker. Exactly. It's now wider. You should try to get in all the pellets with the most... Um, amount of fungus. Amount of my mycelium around it. Okay. So there are two holes left. Push it in so that you can still see them, but it is protected by the log. Okay, so it's done. Oh wait, we have to open the door. zone where we inoculate and we put all the different logs with the different uh, mushrooms what we will do is put this under one of those black plastics and as we have said before it will stay there for about two months and then we'll take it out and see what happened help me please of course So, as you can see, these are other logs. Uh, these were made about seven months ago, which means in the middle of autumn. Um, these, ha they have these plastics to protect them from humidity. Okay, so here we can see other logs with the fungi more developed. We can see that this clear thing is a fungi that has nourished by the log and by the wood. So it has grown after approximately seven or nine months we have to move the log and put it in another place to let the mushrooms grow. And uh, during the summer, uh, the fungus needs less time than during the winter to develop and grow because the, the weather conditions are better. Okay, so we will be back in a few months. Okay, so after nine months, we're going to see how the fungus has developed.
think the logs will be already incubated? Yeah, I think the fungus would be ready enough to produce mushrooms. Yeah, so it's been nine months and 27 days. Yeah, a, long, a lot of time, so let's see it. Let's see, how's the look? So, as we can see, uh, after putting the plastic, and they have put a lot of logs on top of ours, we can see that the fungus has colonized the log. Yeah, as we can see, the shiitake has already nourished by the log, and now it's ready to produce mushrooms, so we have to change its position. So after moving the log, we can see that the, the first days, the mushrooms look like this, they're very little, and after three or four days, we can see that they grow a lot, as we can see, in these mushrooms, their size is a lot bigger. And after letting them grow a little bit more, we collect them and use it to, to make products. Okay, lads, this is a lot of information. So, Roy, please remind us of all the steps. Okay, the first one is inoculation, second one, incubation, third one, waiting, and lastly, picking the mushrooms and use it to make as food or as medicinal products. If you have liked this video, subscribe to our channel, share it with your friends, and see you in the next video. Oh, hey there. Yeah, we found like the new bird. Oh, hey there. Look at what we have. Okay, lads, this is a lot of information. So, to sum up, first, incubation. <laughs> We're going to remind you that. In no. We can use. <laughs>